Welcome to IT Frontier. My name is Haryat. Today I will be discussing on how to create IoT Hub device and IoT Edge device in Azure Portal. So stay tuned until the end of this video to get the steps right. It takes time and effort to create content for you guys. So please share your support by liking this video and hitting that subscribe button so you never miss an episode. Let's get started. So once we have this IoT Hub created, so let's look into how to create IoT device. So this is the overview page and here we can click, click on the tab of devices. So you should be able to see uh, if there are any devices available here, you should be listing here. And uh, as we don't have any devices created, uh, they are empty. Now uh, let's create a new device. First, we'll try to create a IoT uh, device iot hub device later on we will also look into how to create iot edge device so iot frontier iot device one and so i was trying to say right so iot device and edge device there are two things so first if you don't check this it will be normal iot hub device so we'll try to use that and then that authentication types we have three different ways to authenticate uh, for the trial purpose and the simple way, we can use symmetry key where there are two keys that are generated that I will be showing you. And in the X509 self signed, uh, so this is somewhat more secure. And uh, the final ultimate thing that we have to use in the production is X509 CA signed certificate. So, uh, if whatever the production certificate, it has to be signed with CA authority and then it has to be uploaded here and that should be used. So with the symmetric key, I'm going to explain now. So, and we also have this option to auto-generate these keys. So we have to select that. And uh, by default, it should be enabled or disabled that I'm selecting enabled. And if there is any parent device for this IoT device, I have to select it, but I don't have anything. So I'll just leave it and I'll click on save. So once we click on save, uh, our device is created. So this is how our device is created. And if we click on the device, you should be able to see the device ID, the primary key, the secondary key, primary connection string and secondary connection. So uh, this primary connection string is the one that, we, that will be used for most of the coding purpose. And if you want to send the data, receive the data to IoT Hub, so then that is what uh, we do. So you can click on this and you can look into the code as well as whatever the string that is having and the primary key will be embedded here. You can click on this and copy it and use it in your program. Now let's look into the how to create edge device. So I'll go to IoT Hub. So to go to IoT Hub, I can go to the recent one or I can click on IoT Hub here or search here. So I'll click on IoT Hub and I can look into the existing IoT Hub that we have. So once we have this, uh, I'll also go to the IoT Edge. So I can look into if there are any IoT Edge devices that are already created. So right now there should not be any devices. So I'll create a IoT Edge device. So once we create, click on that, it automatically checks this IoT Edge device option. So I'm given this name. And here also we have two options, symmetric key and X509 self-signed. So in the production, you should use this self-signed. Uh, but now for the trial purpose, I'm using symmetric key and other things are same and I'll click on save. So it will be creating this. So uh, under the devices, you should be able to see all the devices, both IoT hub devices and edge device. And here you can differentiate them by the type. Now we have created this edge device. I can go into that. And once I go into that, again, we have the similar things here. Uh, so we have this primary connection thing, which is important. And here, uh, additional to IoT device, so IoT Edge device will have these modules. So these are the by default modules that, are, that come. So uh, Edge Hub and Edge Agent. Whenever uh, the provisioning and other connectivity happens, you should be able to see these uh, modules deployed onto your IoT Edge device that we can look into the further session. So this is how we are able to create IoT Hub device and Edge device. 
We hope this video is informative and has helped you understand how to create IoT Hub device and IoT Edge device in the Azure portal. So your support means a lot to us and helps us keep creating content like this. So please subscribe to the channel and like this video. In the upcoming video, I will be discussing what is the difference between IoT Hub device and IoT Edge device in the context of Azure IoT Hub. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.